Good day, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadine's favorite and most hated son. I am indeed the last poor machismo. My people, it has been another beautiful day for protest. And I enjoyed every moment of my protest. Let me inform you that the front of my sign says, I don't want no white man's money, the white man's woman, the white man's friendship, or the white man's fame. And I, the back of my sign says, I, white man, why have you enslaved the African American, my people? It has been another beautiful day for protest, and I enjoyed every moment of it. I got here so early that even the pigeons look at me and say, what the hell are you doing here so early? <laughs> oh, my people, it was another beautiful day. And today, on the social issue, I'm going to deal with um, a Johnny Vibes Cartel Palmer. And I'm going to tell you how Ralph Gonsalves is jealous of Beckett, Alston Beckett Cyrus. Let us get into the meat of this man. My people, what you don't know about the Palmers, right? Like the Brisbane. You remember Brisbane who used to own that property where I think was... I can't remember the hotel name now, but it is, it is in Anne Israel, Gwinto Villa. And it is located up the hill on the right-hand side from the Texaco um, plant. Mr. Brisbane, you see, the Palmers like the Brisbane. The Brisbane were four brothers that came to the Caribbean. One came to St. Vincent, one went to Antigua, one went to Barbados, and one went to, I think it is Jamaica, right? And the plan was, was so instead of all of them going to the same island, they will go to different islands, and if one of them struck fortune, they will help the other make it. Because they were brothers, they were blood. The Palmers were the same thing. They were three brothers. One went to Jamaica, one went to Barbados, and one came to St. Vincent. And they had the same plan, right? I don't know which came first, whether the Brisbane came first or the Palmers came first, but they had the same plan. Now, the Palmers in Barbados and the Palmers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines always maintained their contact. You remember Palmer Fowl, the guy from Barbados who had the airline? He and us are very close relative. We are descendants from their brothers who came from Scotland. And so is the Palmer in Jamaica. So, this Vives Cartel person is a distant, distant relative of the Palmers and St. Vincent and Grenadines. Our roots go straight back. But it is troubling that the Vives Cartel or Johnny Palmer is now in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and will be residing in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let us take into consideration that even though he was set free from a murder charge, he was choose found guilty of. And even though he set free, it doesn't mean he is innocent because there is a victim and the families of a victim. Now, why Vibes Cartel have taken an interest to St. Vincent all of a sudden? It's because it is not safe for him to be in Jamaica. There is a bounty on his head. Right? People are looking for revenge against Vibes Cartel because they can't see how he can kill this guy and use the finances that he have accumulated over the years as a performer to get away. So it is not safe for him to be in Jamaica. That is why he's in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. He is going to be living in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Now the question you have to ask here, if he is not safe in Jamaica, what makes him think that he is safe in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? So therefore, five scartels come first, set up himself, and after which, 
his entourage is going to be coming to St. Vincent the Grenadines. Those people who are in his inner circle and those people who are willing to keep him secure and safe in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You see, Ralph Gonsal didn't tell you that. It's a whole plan that force convives and then comes entourage. All of them will be given citizenship in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They will be given a Vincentian passport and they will be allowed to live in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Traveling and doing their business as usual. So we have to ask our quest, ourselves this question at one point in time. Is Vibes Cartel entourage will be arriving in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and how long will it take for them to get citizenship? My people, well, Conserve has just unveiled what I've been saying all the while. He can only associate and do business with criminals. You look at all of the people he bring to St. Vincent and the Grenadines to do business, criminals. The Sandals Bunch, criminals. David Ames, criminals. Everyone that he brings to St. Vincent and the Grenadines are criminals, including my distant relative, Ajani Vibes Cartel Palmer. Everyone. So he has shown you that he could only really associate and get along with criminals. I have been saying this for many years. And you know, the nice thing about the opposition in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is all of these things are happening. And the opposition is sitting on their, with their, on their hands, with their thumb up their asses, doing nothing, wiggling their thumbs up their asses. That's all they're doing. St. Vincent has been overrun by criminals. Ralph Gonsard is allowed to do anything that he wants to do, and they can't do anything. But there is a reason. They don't have a soul. They are the slaves of Ralph Gonsard. Who was not Ralph Gonsard's slave? Ralph Gonsard has negoti negotiated with their masters and made them their slave. My people, take my silly advice. The next topic. From since Alston Beckett Cyrus get his as honorary doctor's degree from the University of the West Indies, Ralph Consars become like a raging bull. He is jealous of Beckett because now Beckett and Ralph Gonsalves are on the same scale. Beckett is a Calypsonian. Ralph Gonsalves is a politician with an with a honorary doctorate that he is claiming is a real doctorate. My people, Ralph Gonsalves and Kenneth John went to England in the 60s. In the same manner, James Mitchell went to England pretending to be hired by the English government as an agronomist right but the english government invited james mitchell to work in england in order to teach him how to destroy the economy of st vincent and the grenadines and put vincentians under great pressure to accomplish the white objective for 2025. ralph gonsalv and that traitor kenneth john who was ralph gonsalv's slaves went to England. But Gonsalves went through the same training. Kenneth John was to validate Ralph Gonsalves' training by obtaining the same favors that Ralph Gonsalves got. Kenneth John get an honorary law degree and a doctorate in political science. He had the same, he was gifted the same qualification of Ralph Gonsalves. But the only thing 
But if Gonsad was taught in the same way James Richard was taught how to destroy our economy and to destroy our people and to enslave them because it is a white agenda's objective to have every Israelite man and woman and by extension the entire world their slave by 2025. That is why they have invested millions of dollars to try to enslave me. They can't do it. They can't enslave me. Because the most high God is my protector and my defender. He's not my friend, he is my God. That is why I serve him in spirit and in truth. So now, Ralph Gonsad is jealous of Beckett because he and Beckett is on the same level. Then he went to Venezuela and had the president of Venezuela instruct the University of Venezuela to bestow upon Ralph Gonsalves an honorary doctorate. For what purpose? What have Ralph Gonsalves done but to destroy the economy, leech off of the Venezuelan government, and take and take and take until they get fed up with him? Then now he went to Japan and he begged the Japan to bestow upon him an honor from the Japanese people. What did Ralph Gonsalves do to deserve such an honor from the Japanese government but to beg them and leech out of them? My people, you don't ever honor a leech. Nobody honors a leech. People despise a leech. But because this leech Ralph Gonsalves is a politician and he have voting power to ensure that the Japanese are given the opportunity and the continued right to whale, to kill the whales, they, be, they complied with his, request, with his request and they bestowed upon him another honor. So is the honor for our votes in the United Nations. The man is jealous of Alston Beckett Cyrus, a simple Calypsonian. Let me tell you something. What will happen if the, if the University of the West Indies give the vibrating skates, not the, sorry, give the Scorcher an honorary doctorate degree for his contribution to culture within the Caribbean and in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. My people, Scorcher went to school and Scorcher acquired a PhD the right way. So if the University of the West Indies gives Scorcher a PhD, an honorary PhD upon his legitimate PhD, Ralph Gonzalez will commit suicide because there will be no way he can compete with that because he did not work for his PhD. His PhD was a gift from the British government to give him credibility. His assignment as a lecturer at the University of the West Indies was also a favor done to the British government to give Ralph Gonsalves credibility. The man is as stupid as a mule, as Vincent Jones said. He is as stupid as a donkey to a sandpipe. He don't know what to do. My name is Chief Strongbird. St. Vincent and the Grenadines favorite and most hated son. Sin, have a wonderful day and enjoy the upcoming week. Be productive, whatever you do, be productive.